information um I'm 77 when I was a young boy you know or a young man I always thought that uh that's hot I always thought that when you get up when you get old and I don't really know what old is. I used to think 40 was old and 50 was old. And, but the older I got, the higher up that went. Now I think 100's old. But when I was a young man, I always thought that when you got old, you kind of lost interest in women. Now, I don't mean specifically like thinking about sex or something like that, but I mean just, you know, men, most men, are attracted to women, and women are attracted to men, and there again, most women. That's, that the natural order of things. Don't matter if you're married or not, or single or whatever, you're just automatically attracted to some extent. Um, and I always thought that when you got older, that you wasn't attracted no more. It didn't interest you certain thoughts didn't cross your mind and stuff. And I'm kind of like this. Uh, happily married men, I can't speak for women, but happily married men should never ever just come out and say, well, the thought never crossed my mind about that woman. I'm a happily married man. The thought never crossed my mind. But to some extent, the thought is there or you wouldn't be able to say the thought never crossed my mind. Because that's the thought was there. But back to the story. Uh, I thought men lost interest, and I thought women lost interest too, you know, and I, I was wrong. I'm 77, and the interest is still there. Maybe not the ability, but the interest is still there. Well, for sure not the ability, but my interest is still there. I never, I never find women unattractive. Uh, I got, matter of fact, I know a man older than me and he's still pretty active with his wife. Um, I don't know if you'd ever, got, if I lived to 100, I don't believe the interest would be gone. I believe you'd still perk up every time a lady walked into the room, especially if you're unattached like I am. Of course, I still feel like I'm attached because I never got no divorce. My wife, she just passed away. We're still married. But the interest is still there. 
And boy, she used to give me the devil about, we'd be driving around somewhere in town or something, and some young woman or attractive woman would walk by, and if I glanced over, maybe I'm just looking over to see what kind of purse she's carrying or something. Uh, I like that. And my wife said, you like that, huh? Baby, I was just looking, you know. I I look at everybody that passes by, or I notice them. I'm not specifically looking at them. I even notice men walking by, you know. But she used to get on to me about that. You like that, huh? And so I had to train myself when a woman went by not to go like this. I had to go like this. I don't know if you can see my eyes or not, but I look over there. I didn't turn my head if my wife was in the car. Now, if my wife wasn't in the car, I'd pay it no mind. But I had to train myself to look. I, I trained myself early on to look, not go like that or that. <laughs> It's human nature, right? Right? So if I make it to my goal of at least, let's see, I said I needed, I, my goal was at least uh, 88, 89, 90, somewhere in there. And maybe I can come back then and say, whether it still interests me, and I expect that answer's going to be yeah. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't there be an interest? I mean, <laughs> your battery's dead, maybe, but <laughs> your brain ain't. It's still, still running in there. So anyway, that's my crazy, don't mount a hill of beans much thought for the day. The interest is there. And I hope it'll always be there. I think when the interest of me is not there, uh, You'll find me in the ground somewhere or in a jar or something, you know. But yeah, the interest of me is there. Now this old woman that was a real good friend of my wife before she passed away, her name was Margaret. She's passed away now too, by the way. And she was my mother's age, and my mother was 16 years old than me, so I can tell you how much older that woman was than me. And she, she was chasing me, you know, boy, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, I loved her, I just loved her to death, but I just wasn't romantically inclined, you know, and one day in church, when we got up, stood around and shaking hands and everything, she come up in front of me, she little old short thing, she got on her tiptoes, come up there and planted a kiss on me, on my lips. And everybody standing around looking, she turned around and she just give this smile, she just smiled like he is mine. And <laughs> I didn't know what to think. But I knew she was, I knew she was after me. And she keep on, to Russell said, my wife's name was Sue, she said, Russell, Sue was not mine. She was like, me and her was good friends. You know, but I, I just wasn't, I mean, I was, the natural attraction was there, but the, like, romance, no. It just wasn't there. I did a lot of things for her stuff. I rebuilt her deck for her when, before she passed away and stuff like that. She was a sweet old lady, but she was my mama's age, and she had my mama's name, and that was deal breakers right there, or part of the deal breakers. 
but she's a sweet old lady, and I feel bad now. She's passed away. Maybe I should have. Maybe, but it just ain't in me to fake feelings for somebody if they're not there. My, matter of fact, my problem is just the opposite. I I tend to show. I tend to have what it well, what is it not feeling? I'm not talking about sex now. I'm talking about I tend to. Uh, if I like you, I really like you, and I think I try to impose my life and my, me into your life when actually. We're friends, but that's all it is, and I just want to be closer friends, you know. Uh, I tend to, I tend to like people. Well, I do like people. I can honestly say now, I never meet anybody I don't like until they do something wrong to me. Uh, it, it's. You know, everybody, we all want the same kind of things, you know. We want to be comfortable. We want to be happy with people we're with and all that stuff. We all want that. But me, I just I just see the good. I, I see somebody that's really, really unsightly. I'm not going to say ugly. Because I don't think such thing is ugly. I think the thing is that you might not like it, but it don't mean it's ugly. And, but, uh, you take the awfulest looking person you ever seen, and some, sometime or another that was somebody's baby or somebody's wife or somebody's husband or kid, you know, and they all wanted the same thing. Oh, uh, so, you know, don't, don't dislike people just because of the way they look or hate them and stuff like that. Now, if they're doing bad things, I can understand disliking and hating. But just walk by somebody on the street and not like them because of the way they look. That, that ain't right. That ain't right. You need to get your head straight on that. Oh. That's just me. I love everybody till I see, really see something bad in them. But the bad I see is not their appearance. The bad is their actions or doing bad things to other people and stuff like that. Anyway, again, that's my story for today. Have me another sip of coffee. And I hope I didn't forget to turn this darn thing on record. Let me, yeah, yeah, I did. It's blinking. I'm getting bad about that. I don't like this camera because of that. Sometimes it has a habit of turning on when it doesn't signal me that it's turned off. Uh, same thing on the microphone on that thing. Just because you got it plugged into the camera don't mean it's going to record if you ain't got that little switch fixed on too. So, I don't like it. I like my little cheeky. I, I like my little... I like this little baby right here, but I ain't got no way to strap it to me. Got no way to strap that thing to me. But I can carry this around, nobody will notice if I'm holding it just right. You take this other camera, you can't go anywhere without somebody noticing that. And most the time they don't want you filming in this story. I gotta get out of here. What am I getting on that for? Gee whiz. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I guess you can tell I like to run my mouth. If I disappear, I'm done. And
back again. Yes, I disappeared. Disappeared again.